Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games and welcome back to my Argentina campaign here in Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. Uh, we're just about to capitulate Bolivia. Not quite yet though. Where'd they, where did they move their capital? Right here. Yeah, we got it. We've definitely got this. Um, now, we're getting some new military factories coming in. Let's distribute them. Of course, those civilian and military factories are another reason why I'm not going to be puppeting. I'm just going to be absorbing these other uh, South American nations. It's all to prepare for the war against Brazil, which is going to, you know, be, that's going to be the big one. Let's get this recon company set up. I've got a lot of army experience. I want to start making better templates than I've got. Nationalist Chile is uh, creating a decent sized army very, very quickly. They're not going to make it easy for me, that's for sure. Now, um,. I think it's going to be most important to have divisions here, but also up here. Whoops. Okay, we've got eight over there, and let's just get a couple of these. Uh, I don't know what I want to do in the south there just yet. We got a little bit of time. We got a few months, so I have time to get equipment together and things like that. Uh, Light tank, breakthrough, no, no, I don't want that, I don't want that. Where's the one that's going to lower my attrition? Yeah, here we go. Defenses and entrenchment speed. Oh, it's Justo. Of course I have to use him. Uh, but is there anything else I want to spend that political power on real quick? Or do I want to save it up because I've got this Fate of Bolivia thing on my back? You know, we're just going to save it up because of the Fate of Bolivia. Uh, that, that part's going to suck. Uh, we also need to work on the decryption and encryption. I've got some free dockyards that aren't doing anything. And virtually no civilian factories because everything is still being consumed by um, these projects. And really all I'm going to get in return is infrastructure, so that sucks. Uh, but them's the breaks. And as I said at the end of the last episode, we are going to continuously be alternating between um, the Army and Navy branch of my focus tree to keep that balance up as I work my way towards that fifth research slot. We're in 1939, the war between the Commune of France and Germany is approaching. Very curious to see what Russia is going to do. I'm trying to remember if, because I've played Russia a lot, but I don't remember if they're syndicalists and they choose to intervene in the Second World War, if they've gone syndicalist, if they get that choice to join the Third International. Because they don't normally get, get to decide that or not. Um, we also want to... You know, keep advancing forward 280 days. Ugh, I think that's it. There's going to be no more justifications until we get to, uh, until the Second World War is broken out so we can have the, uh, increased tension. Again, not interested in attracting these immigrants. There's too many other things I want to spend political power on. Sorry for anybody who wanted to see that. What is this? Buenos Aires Underground expands. A uh, whole lot of stuff here. Nationalize the underground, increases my popularity, or market liberals can get more popular. It's going to be 5%. See, it's going to be 5%. That doesn't necessarily mean it's all going to come from me. So if I'm lucky, I'm going to stay in the 60s, the 60 to 70 range. So we're just going to say the free market should not be hampered. Damn it! Uh, and that's what I get, 59%. That's the way it goes. Took 4% from me. Then again, there's not too many other political parties anyway. But we just can't be spending it. All right, let's double check when this is going to start. July 25th. Oh, it's an easy date for me to remember for um, reasons. Uh, we got a couple mountain divisions here. Let's get you there. We're going to try to squeeze Santiago. And I really, at some point, need to uh, get building cl uh, close air support. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to work it in. Uh, and I'm, okay, commune civil war has begun. Usually does happen. And I think that Chile's going to have more divisions than I do uh, here. All right. I know that this is going to strengthen the army even more, but I just really want to get this research slot. A lot of cavalry. I'm seeing militia too. 
So they're probably not the best divisions, you know what I mean? So it shouldn't be too much to worry about. Let's keep these guys over here. Uh, let's see. And I already took the 50. And the stability hit. All right, let's get improving things. Why am I losing support equipment? Oh wait, it's because I have these in production. There we go, so let's get rid of that. And that should mostly solve our problems. Agrarians seize Calcutta. They must have left it wide open. So now the other boss is in charge. Uh, and they've actually allied with Burma. Russia's looking pretty big and scary with the Ukraine there. Uh, Bulgaria's at war with Turkey. Who's running Bulgaria? Ferdinand. Okay. Iran and Saudi Arabia. It looks like they're going to be going to war. Oh, and Kurdistan was established. Didn't notice that right away. So Iran is probably going to start absorbing everybody here. Now we got to work on the Navy stuff because the Navy's going to start feeling neglected and whine. But we have this, which means we can start doing more important things. More of the important things, I should say. Uh, we still have about two years to deal with the Black Monday stuff. So once I have rebalanced the inter-service rivalry, then I'm going to come back over here and uh, run down to autarky. So this is going to take 56, 56, 56, 56, 56, and then maybe another 56. So let's call it 1, 2, 300. Plenty of time. It is going to take about a year, but we're, we're just kind of sitting on our hands for right now. Um, it's going to be very interesting now when I go after Brazil, when that time comes. No doubt. Okay, are the recon companies done? No, we're still 41 days away from that, so the recon companies are not going to be a factor in uh, in this war. So we're going to be hurting. We're going to be hurting in that respect. Uh, but again, I'm seeing lots. They potentially have 20 divisions. I've now got 21 divisions, although admittedly some of them are kind of trash, especially those ones in the south. Uh, but I think we're going to overall be okay. Because I think theirs are, yeah, they're, they're just going to have worse divisions than I do. I think I can hold on to the air superiority. Alright, got some free military factories. Let's start sinking these into close air support. We at least get a little bit going. Um, what's next? What's next? I want to focus on infrastructure. Get some more of that. Maybe right here. Yeah, let's work on Buenos Aires. Yeah, we've got attrition problems up here in the north. And no red bubbles so far. Actually, there are some red bubbles in the south. Let's go ahead and do a force attack. It'll also speed things up everywhere. All right, we're set on infantry equipment. We're getting we're falling behind on the support equipment, though. All right, submarine focus is done. Uh, Army is still more strengthened. So let's get. Oh, I should have gotten battle cruisers, so then I can come down here. All right, battle cruisers. We get this. Okay, <clears throat> and the dockyards are not being used. Let's keep building more convoys for right now. We've got a whole lot of civilian factories now, and Greece has become a republic. Yeah, the the total lack of war support, it's just, it's just so killer. Absolutely killer. All right, um, did I not get Husto before? Yeah, let's at least get him now. So that'll, that should help in the north here quite a bit. And what's outdated? The Toad Artillery. Okay. Um, let's get this first battle cruiser being researched. And we need 
we're definitely going to need better fighters at some point. Okay, we definitely have the air superiority. Oh, nice. Let's get our one close air support guy involved. He's going to be a big difference maker. <laughs> uh, Alsace ultimatum. And there we go. We should be seeing 100% world tension here. Pretty close. Yep, there it is, 96. Uh, I could now justify on Peru. See, they've got three divisions. Ecuador has between five and eight. I think this is going to be a nice, big, healthy land grab for me. And that'll take me right up to the borders of Colombia, which is, of course, a real prize with its oil. We're also going to have plenty of rubber and the aluminum. The aluminum Peru is going to be so nice to have. All right, recon companies should also now be getting used, although I'm not going to incorporate them yet because the support equipment is just... I just don't have any, really. Uh, this guy is now isolated. Excellent. We're almost in Santiago, which might be enough. Okay, cool. They're balanced, uh, which might be enough to get the capitulation. We're going to see here soon. Nope, we just lost. Uh, wait, maybe, maybe. We're surrounding them, at least. So it's a win-win for me. Either Santiago is not going to fall, but I'm going to keep moving forward with the rest of my divisions. And now they're all cut completely cut off from their capital, so it just becomes a matter of time. Japan's going for the Philippines, and there goes Nationalist Chile. Don't... Now Southern South America looks look, look at how nice and clean that border is. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. You can't you gotta love it. Alright. Meanwhile, we're gonna get the four U out here and training. Fall of Chile. We are going to annex it all. Damn, 150 political power. That hurts. That hurts, but the steel, oh the steel's so good. Gotta do it. I've gotta annex it. Look at those beautiful borders. How could I not? All right. Okay. Fate of Chile. Didn't I just do this? I have to do it twice? That's got to be a bug. I'll, uh, I don't know. All right. So now everybody's redeploying. We've got 100% world tension. The Entente is looking like... Ah, oh, jeez, West Indies. West Indies Federation is going mad! Uh, but... Let's see, this is going to be kind of good for me. I want the American Union state to win this one. How close are they to capitulating? Here we go. Sardinian American War, is that what they're technically calling it? But the American Union state is kind of close to capitulating, but I think they're going to hang on as long as... Do they still have New Orleans? No, they don't. But they've got Chicago. I would love it if the Entente lost here. And so I wonder... If I should accelerate the war against Brazil to continue to divert away Entente resources. I've got tons of infantry equipment too. You know what, here's what we're gonna do. How many divisions? We're gonna we're gonna send them some lend lease. We're gonna send them a ton. And by a ton I mean like five thousand. We're gonna send them some infantry divisions. Hopefully this is gonna work out. Because a capitulated Entente would be a thing of beauty. Of course, there's still the French Republic over here, but I, I should say more like a capitulated Canada. Uh, because if we actually look at the current the, the the war here, yeah, the French Republic is also considered to be a major power. So uh, it's more that I just want Canada to capitulate at least for now. So this is going to be quite a slog through here. You know, they definitely have defense on their side with those big mountains. Let me see what the heck this is. Yep, yep, I've got to pay again. What a bunch of bull. So I paid 200 to keep Chile. <sighs> but at least I get some factories back, right? 
I got other things. No. Let's do something like this. Okay. How many more days on the support equipment? 253. That's completely unacceptable. Let's do something like this. And now we're looking at 150 days. Production efficiency growth is also going to be a factor. We're good. Okay. Engines of war. Military factory construction speed. I'm not building any at the moment, but it's still good to have. Gonna get two more military factories. And we've got five all the time in the world, 558 days to complete our five-year plan. And that's of course gonna give me the stability and political power. So looking forward to that. I don't need oil. Would be interesting sometime. I might do it on my own time to do in Argentina where I went mobile warfare and allied with Germany. Uh how is this war going for them? They seem to be doing okay. Turkey joined, or is that... Is Turkey now a puppet? Yeah, Turkey's a puppet of Bulgaria. Bulgaria joined in on with, with it. There, let's see. Russia is getting pulled in a couple directions. They have a war goal on Germany. What am I importing? Is it just steel? Okay, so I probably should start grabbing some excavation stuff so I can start getting factories back. Hmm. I don't want the Third International to win either, because of course I'm going to probably ally with Germany, as I've been saying repeatedly. What government is Germany under? They went Social Democrat. Ooh, it's going to make it a little tougher for them. They seem to be holding the line all right, though. Saudi Arabia, speaking of holding the line, is killing Iran. I guess I overestimated Iran. And Madras has made one heck of a comeback against the Indian Empire. Meanwhile, it looks like Japan is struggling to get a foothold in the Philippines, at least a viable one. Mexico, they just, oh, they're just finishing up ending the Anglo Rebellion, so who knows where they're what they're gonna do next? Wait, have they not? I don't think they they haven't taken any of their political focuses. That's why they're finishing up the Anglo Rebellion in 1939. They must have just been doing nothing but that this entire time. That's really weird. Okay, I, I guess I can dig that. Uh, but yeah, we're kind of in, uh, we're, we're just sort of, we're just, we're just in a hanging out portion of the game. Uh, let's see, when's, when's the Peruvian War going to start? This is going to be in February, so we've got about three months until we're going to be at war with Peru, and by extension, Ecuador. Uh, by then, we'll surely have the support equipment we need. Yes, very good. Uh, damn, only 64 days to get the, uh, Battlecruiser. Nice, but there's other things I need to focus on better things such as hmm, could go for the improved artillery upgrades but I think instead we're gonna go for the improved computing machine let's let it queue up a bit though all right I don't care about any of these just All right, yeah, we're uh, I think we're doing okay. So we're consolidating. We're getting our industry up and running. Uh, it looks like Canada and them have taken the advantage, though. So I'm pretty sure that the American Union state is going to fall, uh, which is really frustrating. Immigrant report. I did get the recon company. No, I have not. Let's get the recon in here. Uh, we need to go ahead and cancel this lend lease program. 
because they're just completely worthless. Worthless, Huey Long. You're worthless. All right, the things are accelerating over here in India. The commune is attacking the Dominion. Hopefully that is going to divert some Entente resources and manpower and everything else. But now Mexico has entered in uh, the war by attacking the Pacific States, which is now completely collapsing any chance of uh, Canada being capitulated. It's over. The dream is dead. Let's get the computing machine and keep working on that excavation a bit. What is it I'm missing? Steel? Really? Didn't I just take a bunch of steel at a horrific cost in political power? Trading, need to trade for more aluminum. It's going to be solved when we're done with Peru. How's Germany doing? Continuing to hold the line. So they must have gone grand battle plan since, uh, yes. Yeah, oh, they haven't chosen a doctrine. Okay, well, yeah. If they're social democrats, they couldn't take the mobile warfare one. And Poland's got some war goals on Germany, so we'll see if they stab them in the back or not. Let's get the better fighters up and running. And let's move all of our airplanes up here. Oh, perfect. Exactly 50 fighters. Excellent. Let's get them all working Peru. Merging these, of course. So we have an even 20. These guys done yet? Yes. And there goes Poland, stabbing Germany in the back. Like I was just saying. It doesn't look like Germany. No, Germany does have some divisions posted there. They were ready. They were kind of ready. Um, okay, now what are we still short on in terms of equipment? The support equipment? Uh, I guess I could go two lines, but no more than that. Probably even that's too much, all things considered. Let's go ahead and give him Charismatic as well. And is there anything else we can give anybody? I don't think so. At least not right now. Because uh, I'm sure I'm going to have to be forced attacking my way through a lot of these mountains. But they're going to have almost as many divisions as me. But again, I'm hoping they're not going to be as well equipped. Uh, there is a pretty big disparity in factories. So I hope that will make the difference. Also, I'm pretty sure they don't have planes. Yeah, they don't have a single plane. So I'm going to have definitive air superiority over the entire region. And the justification is now complete. Go. And we're going to keep making our way towards the autarky. I don't think this is going to be enough. Hopefully the economic reinvigoration is enough. Uh, which one of these I take first will probably just be dependent on if I'm at peace or not. But a lot of green bubbles so far. We're going infiltration because of all the you know, low supply areas that we're going to be fighting in. Let's see if I'm lucky and I can get a cut across with these marines to Lima. I don't think so, but uh, we're going to try. Casualty ratio is magnificent. Eh, maybe not magnificent. That's a bit of a strong word, but it's very good right now. Very good. And I just cannot wait to get my hands on that aluminum. A little bit the rubber, too. Brazil doesn't seem to be coming at me just yet. Shouldn't be happening anytime soon. See how's it going for Germany? Uh oh, Germany's got a gap in their lines. Got a couple gaps in their lines. My benefactor, no! <laughs> I need them if I'm gonna take Brazil. Looks like Mexico has been sort of halted. 
Still, doesn't look that great. And I'm trying to watch that I don't overextend myself with this push in the Eastern Andes. It's going to be a pain. Ecuador and Peru are always a pain because of the Andes to, uh, to attack if you're an aggressor. Should I get the motorized so then I could also get logistics? Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Inter-service rivalry being balanced, it's good. I haven't gotten any sort of notifications that there's uh, anything bad going to happen, which is always nice. Okay, now let's see if I can cut off the kind of the southern section, because I, I see that Bolivia is rushing troops down here. Now, of course, they could evacuate them through Lima, but again, it, it, I'm forcing them to make the hard choices. Do I evacuate Lima to save my army, and then I'm going to lose Lima, or, or what, you know? Also, I'm wondering if, uh, since I'm at war, I should take this chance to go to extensive conscription. You know what? We're going to do it because that's probably the highest I'm going to go for ages and ages. So we're going to go to the extensive conscription. So between that and um, when I eventually take the Confederate states of the River Plata, I should not need to probably, for the rest of the game, uh, increase my conscription law because I'm just going to be drowning in manpower. I have more than enough. Uh, no, 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 you need to stop, you need to stop, you need to come over the Andes here. We are getting closer to Lima day by day. Alright. When we take Lima, we can move the Air Corps a little bit, well, we can already move them a little bit closer. Let's do that. Let's see if we can take this Air Base as well. Peru is definitely collapsing. We've lost those initial planning bonuses, though. A lot of them. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to go economic invigoration because this war is not going to be over yet. All right, let's come over here. We're getting on the western part of the Andes for Ecuador. And Lima has been abandoned. Peru should be capitulating momentarily. They're not letting me into Trujillo, though. Alright, so I think we're going to have to take Trujillo to get the capitulation, but that's fine. That's a okay. See, this is going to give me more factory output and production efficiency growth, both of which are things I like very, very much. Uh, let's see, we're short on artillery again. Let's put you here, and maybe a little more close air support actually could be a priority. We certainly need the steel, though. Not the rubber anymore. Let's see, of course, trading with Germany to do our little part to hopefully keep them alive. You see, they got to crush Poland. They got to secure that flank. And Russia's going to be coming after them too soon enough. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it is over for the American, the North American sovereignty. Dream is dead. Whoa, what's going on? Don't be freezing on me. Don't be crashing on me. What's going on? Somebody lost a war somewhere. Uh, that's it. Yep, look at Greater Canada. That is something I'm going to have to deal with at some point. <sighs> what a pain. Because Mexico ain't going to fight them. Somebody, so I'm the closest, I'm the closest member if I join the Reich Pact to being able to attack Canada. I'm the one who's going to have to go up there if I want Brazil. What an absolute pain. My division's up here spending all their time freaking in the American Civil War. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's one way, that's one way to look at it. The, uh, the American Civil War is, this is, I guess, technically a victory for the Pacific States. It's probably more of a victory for New England. Uh, but I 
think we're going to be ending this episode here. Uh, on this note. Oh, it looks like we're going to get a cut off. Nice. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. Let me just figure out what I want to research next. We're working on that. I think atomics would be a little bit crazy. Um, land doctrine I'm already working on. You know what? I haven't done any of my air doctrine stuff. Let's try to get that. And that's it. We're going to stop it there. So in the next episode, I'm going to hopefully take Ecuador and Peru. Uh, Brazil is probably going to have to wait for a very, very long time because if I know I'm going to need to take them out, I might need to go to Colombia and actually find myself at war with Mexico, of all people, just so I can continue to crawl up the coast and actually get some sort of direct contact with Canada. Because Canada doesn't have that many divisions, but this is going to be tricky uh, because... The Entente has also not gone in yet into the war uh, against the Third International. So, basically, we want a situation where Germany beats the Third International before the Entente enters. Then the Entente's going to attack them, hopefully, or I join them, and then I attack an Entente country such as Brazil, and that's going to pull Germany in. And, of course, we cannot forget about Russia, who's waiting out here, although it looks like the Mongolians are keeping them pretty busy. It's uh, it's interesting. It's very interesting. You know, we're not a major player. We're not a faction leader. And uh, so the whims of larger countries than our own often will decide our fate. It's a very difficult situation, uh, but pretty fun also. You know, having to having to figure out how I'm going to play this out. Anyway, I'm conquering history games. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.